Hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, again, for Shenanigans Podcast, and I don't have the intro queued up, so we're just not going to do that today. <laughs> uh, last time we had cow pad on, blah, 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 it's my fucking boy, love him to death, you know, get all that fucking fruity shit out, dude, okay? Let's get right to the funny, okay? Right to the funny, alright? So, let me tell you guys about my mornings here. I am such a shitbag person, I cannot physically wake up in the mornings it doesn't matter if i've had eight hours of sleep 10 hours of sleep four hours of sleep 12 hours of sleep i think i already said 12 but like it just doesn't matter because i just fucking can't wake up dude when i wake up my alarm goes off and i pick the most annoying one too so it'll make me wake up it's the fucking rooster you know and you're like oh fuck i put it and i have four or five of them going just to fucking annoy me into not wanting to be asleep anymore, you know? But, like, when when that first one goes off, let me tell you what goes through my head. The f- very first thought when I hear that fucking goddamn rooster noise the first time, I'm like, Ugh. How bad do I need this job? Like, it's, it's right to... Every morning, there's a 6% chance I'm going to quit my job, dude. Every single morning, there is a chance that I no longer just go to work at all. It's fucking horrible. Because I know one of these days, I'm going to be like, I don't even need the job. I just fucking, oh, I'll mow lawns or something later. I just don't want to do this now. You know, and it's fucked up. Because I'm almost late to work every day. Every single day, I'm almost late to work. And it's not even that, like, I oversleep. It's that... I know it's time to wake up, and I'm like, nah, ain't about it. You know, there's been times where, like, I'll, I'll waste so much time laying there that I'll fucking, I'll skip the time that I would have had to, you know, casually get ready at my own pace and take a shower. So then, now, I then have to, I have seven minutes to do everything I gotta do and be in the car and out the door to not be late, you know? And it's become a thing in my own head. It's become a running joke for me only that when I have so little time, but I still like need to take a shower, like I'll I'll wake up and I'll be like, okay, I got 45 minutes before I got to leave. Fuck it. I can sleep for 15 more and then 15 pass. And I'm like, I got 30 minutes to to fucking, I got to leave. Okay. I can, I can do it in 20. I can do it in 20. Give me 10 more minutes of sleep and then 10 more minutes pass. And I got 20 minutes, which is the bare minimum it takes. And I'm like, I think I can do it 15 today. I'm feeling frisky today. I think I can do it. I think today's the day. I think I'm an adult and I think I can handle it. And then all of a sudden I have fucking four minutes to shower, put in my contacts, brush my teeth and get ready. And that's just not enough time. So I've, it's become a thing in my head where I'm like, I did it again. Looks like I gotta take shower power hour. And I don't know why I call it that. That's just, it just rhymes. So it just became a thing. But shower power hour is actually the opposite of shower power hour because it's not There's no power in it whatsoever. It's like, just get me wet enough to where I look clean. And then also it's two minutes long, which is not even, that's not an hour. That's almost the opposite of an hour. You know, it's an un hour, you know, like I'm just in, it it was fucking, I wanted to, I I was excited to record this because I have a bunch of dumb shit planned. So uh, on like Saturday night, I was going to record it, but uh, it's, it was fucking storming so loud and it was setting off car alarms. It was annoying as fuck. I wasn't going to put you guys through that. But, like, it's Katrina round three over here, dude. Like, we're going to have to fucking move to Louisiana now because this shit is all destroyed. It's fucked up, you know. But, yeah, Katrina round two or three or whatever it is came through and I wasn't going to do it. But here we are now, right? But it was uh, it was raining all fucking weekend. And it was, like, this morning when I woke up, it was still raining just hard enough to where you hear it on the windows, you know, just the pitter-patter. It was like it was like an anime outro where there's the one character that's way too close to the glass, and they got the one hand on it, you know, and you see the, the heat of their, their hand and their breath on it, and it's raining from the outside. That's every anime ever, dude. Don't fucking, don't tell me you don't know what that's from. That's every anime ever. I can think of at two off the top of my head where that happens for sure. Just two of the most recent ones I've watched definitely had that. So I don't want to fucking hear no bullshit from you guys saying that's not a good reference. And I don't even know why you would, but I'm getting defensive already. Okay. (laughs) But yeah, man, mornings, mornings for me fucking suck. It was raining just ever so beautifully. And it just, uh, I almost quit my job again. You know, it's just like, Oh, I could just sleep here. I can just sleep here till the sun comes through the window and forcibly wakes me up. But even then, dude, I have blackout curtains. So, like, 
ain't no sun getting through, you know? I'm the only sun getting in tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, so that's that's mornings for me. Congratulations. We spent five minutes talking about how fucking much of a piece of shit I am. Cool. Uh, next thing on the agenda is... You hate to see it. So, um, one of the people that I thought was definitely in the running to be one of the funniest people in the world, if not the funniest person in the world, Chris D'Elia, my, I don't want to say he's my idol, but he's in my top three favorite comedians easily. Uh, fucking love the dude. I told everyone, I told all my friends to watch a special, you know, uh, I, a lot of people don't like him and a bunch of my friends are dickheads and they'll talk shit about him. I'll fucking defend him. You know, I'd be like, Oh no, he's funny. Don't, he's not just a dude, bro. Funny guy. Well, apparently, uh, he been diddling. So I guess that what do they, they call it grooming, like not like dogs and stuff. That'd be weird, but uh, it's somehow weirder than that though. Actually he like did the thing where like the, the, People, the, the girls aren't 18 yet, but he's still talking to them and, like, I guess trying, basically, like, hey, I know it's illegal right now, but you're still hot and I still want to fuck you in a year and a half. So, like, you know, whatever. I, I think I think that's what it's called is uh, grooming, but you fucking hate to see it, man. Fucking Chris D'Elia was one of the funniest people I've ever had the pleasure to watch on the internet you know countless hours of free content have proven he's one of the funniest dudes alive but he be diddling you know and he can't he can't support that you know it's just like okay it's i was gonna say it's just like louis ck but it's kind of worse because at least louis ck like he he did the thing and he was like this was wrong but at least i asked permission but i get it it's wrong i used my power and I'll fuck off for a few years, you know. And now he's back, and his new special was fucking hilarious. I'm sorry, but that shit was funny. But uh, Chris just, uh, he was like, I didn't do anything illegal. I didn't share any pictures or anything. And then, like, all these other texts are coming out where it's, like, screenshots of him being like, oh, you're 16, so you haven't fucked. So if we fucked, I'll be the first one. And I don't know, man. You know, you, you just got to hope it's not true. Like, I fucking... I started a podcast because I loved watching his podcast and Theo Vaughn's podcast. Fucking all the all that shit, man. I'm here because I had the influence of him and other comedians to like want to do this kind of shit, you know? Like a lot of comedians it's like it they'll have guests and they'll require more people to talk to, but like I fuck with this heavy, dude. I like just sitting here looking into the camera, talking shit, yelling a little bit, getting a little bit heated, you know, talking poop. Said that several times, don't know why, but that's, I don't know, dude. It, and it's because I saw them be able to do that that I was like, I can do that, you know? So, uh, it just, it fucking sucks, man. And I don't, this isn't like an emotional thing. I don't know, I'm not going to cry again, but uh it just, man, it just fucking sucks. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, and you gotta hope that it's false, but the the evidence is stacking against him, huh? I'm not gonna, like, put any of it up, because I don't even want to look at it anymore, dude. I just don't want to think about it anymore, but we gotta talk about it. I, I know I've mentioned him several times on the podcast, and I've recommended several friends to watch his fucking podcast, uh, to watch his specials and whatnot, so yikes. Yikes. Yikes, you know? But there is one thing that I did think about. What was it? Um, so he played in You, season two, and he played a pedophile. He played in Workaholics, uh, one of the earlier seasons. He had like a cameo in an episode. Not a cameo, but he was a guest star, I guess. And he played a pedophile. Yikes. So what my brain put together was, and you're <laughs> right, uh, you know how I'm gonna feel like a piece of shit for not knowing this off the top of my head, but whoever who was the actor that played the Joker and then like went crazy because they like lived in that world for too long, you know what I'm saying? I can't remember his fucking name. I'll probably put a, like a thing on the screen that says it because I went in editing, I googled it, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Whatever the fuck was it, Hugh 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 something Hefner? Was it Hugh Hefner? <laughs> but Oh, whoever the fuck that guy. I know that definitely, I'm pretty sure that happened, right? Somebody played the Joker, and they played the Joker so well 
that they kind of went crazy and I think they died or some shit. I don't, I honestly don't remember, dude. My memory's dog shit. Uh, I couldn't even remember to fucking wake up in time to go to work this morning, dude. Like, don't fucking blame me for having bad memory, you know? But, uh, so what I got to thinking was, what if, and what if, and bear with me, and what if, he just played a pedophile so many times that he got contact diddling, you know? He fucking, you know, he got contact diddling. You know, I knew a girl once, really sweet girl, that uh, had a friend that did meth, and then the the friend that did meth had a really hard time one time and had, like, just a shit day, and then the, the nice girl was like, to comfort her, I'll smoke meth with her. And that's, like, not the best example, but that's a real thing that happened. Goes to show, maybe even nice people, maybe good people can do some fucked up shit because of the surroundings and the situations. So, I'm gonna just hope... Oh, I wonder if that girl ever stopped doing meth, by the way. I gotta check up on her, maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe she needs a GoFundMe or some shit, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, I think he just jokered himself. And I know what you're thinking, but Sheldon, these texts are from years ago before he played those roles. And you know what I have to say to that? Fuck. You know? <laughs> that's it. That's all I got, dude. Fuck. You know, but that, that's, you see where the, the, the gears were turning somewhere in there along those lines. It could have been a thing, dude. So, um... You know, just when you thought fucking 2020 couldn't get worse. First, World War Three. Second, Australia's on fire. Third, Australia's now flooded. Uh, then we had... Uh, what, what was in the next order? Was it... Uh, yeah, then it was the pandemic, which is still currently going. And then you had Murder Hornets. A nice little... Uh, we had like a filler episode of Murder Hornets. And then... You know, uh, the 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 cops with the racism and the brutality and shit. Finally, like it, this the, it was the you know it was the straw that broke the person of color's back, I guess. And they just fucking you know. So now we got riots and shit. And like you know, you guys know I've said it multiple times in this podcast. It's fucking justifiable. So I know I made a joke there, but I'm not fucking trying to be a dick or anything. But uh, and now Chris is diddling. So like. What the fuck else is going to happen, man? I'm going to I want to hear what you guys think. What are just the worst things that could happen? Now let's make a bingo card together as a group. Let's make a bingo card of things that are just the worst possible things. I'll throw a couple in there. Um ostriches get loose and attack people. That's a good one. I fucking hate ostriches and I know other people do too. If you have seen an ostrich up close, you hate ostriches. Fuck those guys. Um Oh, uh, somehow the Karens uh, gain too much power and are able to, you know, tell people where they can, you know, post signs and paint on the sidewalk and stuff like that. The Karens getting too much power, that's going to be a big one. If that happens, it's going to suck. It's going to change the way everything happens. You know, Bed Bath & Beyond is going to be just a fucking madhouse of power, you know. Uh, all the Bed Bath & Bed Bath & Beyond, Bed Bath & Body Works. What are they, why is it all the Bed Bath things that they love so much, you know? Bed Bath & Beyond... Bed, ba bed, bed, Bath and Body Works, uh, Nordstrom Rack is probably going to be an epicenter for uh, Karen Karenisms, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so let's can we can we get some fucking? I need some ideas from you guys though, because I bro, I'm out here churning out tism as much as I can. So let me hear some from you guys, you know. Shit, I'll put the next. I'll put the ones that you guys hopefully tell me in there, and then I'll make some more. We can go over the full bingo card, and we'll make it official. I'll put it on the fucking screen, and that way we can uh, we can check them off as they happen, you know. And if I think of some more, I'll throw them out there, you know. Um, but yeah, man, the fucking ostriches, the Karens are going to gain too much power. Uh, what else? I know there, there's been a bunch going around on the internet already, but one that made me laugh so hard was Jesus comes back and we kill him again. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that doesn't have to be one of ours, but that's just one that made me. That's one that I think of that's like, that's pretty funny, you know. Um, so before I get into the last segment we have here, uh, which is, I won't even explain it because it's not, it's fucking, <laughs> oh man, I'm excited, but, uh, one thing I thought about recently that I haven't talked about with you guys was that I went to a concert. My roommate, uh, Mr. Louis Meds, he had a concert not too long ago, sometime last year, uh, before COVID, BC. So this was 2019 BC. We are now in 2020 uh, 
AD, which is uh, after after death, after deaths, you know, after <laughs> adult deaths, you know. Uh, but yeah, so he had a concert, and it was a. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who Big Tuck is. It, that might be a reference you might not get, but he's like a southern rapper. He had like one hit song and then a couple of like lesser hit songs but he's kind of a legend in in the south and whatnot so a lot of people respect him i fuck with i like the song you know it's a good song uh i forget what song it was but it's a good song and uh he had a concert right so me me extra caucasian fucking sheldon my other friend who is somehow wider than me wearing fucking uh you know like slides with no socks at to a bar uh my other friend who is just as white if not white as me his native american girlfriend and then uh was that all the was that all the non yeah and then then uh, a bunch of other people but we just we stuck out like a sore fucking thumb at this concert dude we go to this bar it's in the fucking it's in fort worth and it's in like I had to park by somebody's house and walk to it. It's like, it's weird. I feel like when the place was built, it was, someone was meant to live there. And then they were like, no, we can like, we can drink in here now. You know, it was fucking, it was a little bit rough, you know? So we get there and we get there early because I'm trying to be a good friend, trying to support my fucking buddy, trying to get there and have a few drinks ahead of time, you know, clear out a spot. Cause we had a bunch of people coming. We wanted to get a table. We wanted to get a little bit of drinking and we wanted to have some fun. Right. So we get there. And the four of us are there before any of our non-white friends are there. So, uh, we are, we're definitely sticking out, you know, we are sticking out like a big old Caucasian thumb, you know? So, uh, we, it's like, dude, you know what? It's a position I've been in thousands of times. It's does, it doesn't really make me uncomfortable anymore. It's just like, it's just, you know, hope nobody roasts us too bad, you know? But, uh. So we're chilling, and then uh, slowly but surely people start showing up, and then we realize it's not really just a concert for him. It's like a bunch of like local artists are going in and doing two songs each, and there's like a fucking dozen of them. So they're going, and they're going, and they're fucking taking a break, and everybody's got to go meet Big Tuck, and everybody's got to get a shot, and it's fucking, it's taking for fucking ever. So uh, I'm, I, we watched like three people go up, and I'm like, how many more motherfuckers we, before my friend can go, you know? So I was like, you know what, let's just go chill. Uh... I think this was, I want to say this was when I still smoked cigarettes, so, no, I think it was after that, I think I just had a, had a vape pen or something, I don't know, but, go outside with my buddy, we're like, uh, you know, we're like, it's, it's getting, it's getting real loud in there, let's just go hang out on the bal- on the porch, balcony, whatever you want to call it area, the, uh, yeah, I guess that's the, yeah, we're hanging out on the porch, having a beer, you know, just killing time, waiting for our homie to go on, and, uh, <laughs> There's a fight. No, we hadn't. Okay, so I'm tripping. We hadn't. We hadn't gone outside yet. There's a fight inside. These fucking. This one group of like four people and this other group of four people. They all start fucking arguing, and then to one guy from each group starts just beating the piss out of each other. They're falling over bar stools and fucking. People have like their pitchers of beer, you know, on their tables, and they're like, "Whoa, don't fucking hit that there, buddy." They're fucking falling around. Security gets them, takes the guy because. One of the one of the dudes didn't really start it. He was just there, and then the uh, the aggressor he got thrown out. So that all happens, and they're they're kind of like fighting outside a little bit still. So we go outside and we're like, let's see how this ends, you know. And uh, so the group that gets thrown out, they're still in the parking lot, and they're talking shit now to whoever. They don't care. They're just mad. So they're like, we don't get to see Big Tuck. Let's yell at these people on the patio. That's the word I was looking for. Was fucking patio. So they're on the fucking patio, and uh, this random drunk girl is like, yeah, fuck you, you fucking assholes, blah, blah, and just like, just yelling just drunk girl stuff, you know, just fucking like, not even really having a good point, just kind of just yelling to yell, and uh, this bitch goes, uh, they're, they're talking about, like, they're like, we're strapped up, blah, 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 we're fucking strapped up, which if you're very Caucasian, like me, you would need an explanation, that means you have a gun on you, so... They, uh, they're saying that, and then this drunk bitch goes, we'll pull it out then, we'll pull it out then, and we're like, I remember, like, my friend, he's got his cigarette, and I was sitting there, and I was like, I think that's our cue to go back inside, you know, that's just, uh, hey, pal, you wanna just, uh, skedaddle on inside, you know, just as wide as possible, you know, like, hey, why don't we hit that old dusty trail back into inside, whether it's 
more people to hide behind if gunfire goes off, you know? <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, that was a crazy night, though. My friend fucking killed it, though. Louis Meds fucking put on a hell of a show. And uh, this some guy tried to smoke a blunt just at the bar. So then security was like, what are you doing? He was like, oh, sorry. I was just, and they were like, you can't. Dude, you know you can't. He was like, yeah, my bad. <laughs> like, he just got caught and didn't even try to be like, no, man, I don't have anything. He was just like, yeah, sorry. F, you know? <laughs> oh, man. But that was uh, my friend and his Native American girlfriend left early. That After the whole fight and the gun thing, they were like, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we got a we got a thing to do. And I was like, dude, just say you're uncomfortable. Like, it's fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> there was talk of guns, so I think it's okay for you to leave, you know? But it was a hell of a night. I got real drunk. I drove home that night too. Oof. But <laughs> all right, so we got we got we got nine minutes left. That's just the amount of time we need. So a thing that I do, and I was telling my buddies about this the other day. A thing that I do is uh, if I'm driving or if I'm tired, like I'm in bed, and I think of something funny, I'll uh. Sorry, I got the dick ups, but I'll I'll make a voice note in my phone. And that way I'll remember it. Because if I'm too tired, you don't want to get out of bed, turn on your light, fucking write the shit, whatever. I don't know. You don't you don't want to you don't want to wake yourself up. And also, if I'm driving, I don't want to text and drive, you know. So I'll just put on the voice note real quick. And uh, so I got four recovered voice notes here that I haven't looked at in fucking a long time. Some of them are kind of long, so we might just listen to a few seconds of them. But some of them are only <laughs> a little bit, and it's kind of perfect. So... Uh, this first one is called Behole 2mp 3 Behole 2 you know, and, uh, there's, there's, there is a Behole 1, but that's going to be a whole, honestly, there might have to be a whole podcast on Behole 1, because that's a whole another fucking story. So, um, Behole 2, let's, let's, let's see what I had to say. When you go in to lick a butthole, I feel like you don't really have the highest... Okay, uh, OBS overloaded there. Let's see what that was again. When you go in to lick a butthole, I feel like you don't really have the highest of expectations. So, you know, every little, every little bit counts. <laughs> when you go in to lick a butthole, you don't really have the highest of expectations. <laughs> so every little bit counts. Okay, go me, you know. Uh... Next, this one is called Different Ways to Say .mp3, and this is a minute and a half long. We'll just we might just listen to a, a little bit of it here. So we live in a weird time because there's different ways to say things that invoke different reactions from people that mean the exact same thing, but it just it just depending on how you say it, it can completely sway someone's opinion of you, right? Like if you were to, like if I was to say, "Wow, that hurt my feelings," you'd be like. Oh, calm down, Tumblr. You know, what are you, fucking, what are you, nine? Get over yourself. And then you walk away going, that guy's a fucking pussy. But if I was to, if I was to say, wow, that hit me right in the feels, you'd be like, yeah, well, you know, stuff does, stuff hits you in the feels sometimes, and you just got to deal with it, and that's just how it is. And you walk away going like, wow, that guy's super relatable, you know? But honestly, that one, I'm kind of killing it. I want to hear what else is in here, too. We're 44 seconds in. It works both ways because sometimes you'll hear somebody say something and even though it's a different way to say something, it'll just piss you off. Like I was at work one time and a dude uh, come up behind me on a forklift and he was like, coming up on your starboard side. And I was like, who the fuck says that? that say it regular, motherfucker. I don't know which way that is. Just say left or right. I still don't know what the fuck that means. I still really don't know which way that is. Means. I'm not a sailor. What are you fucking Captain Jack? If Captain Jack Sparrow said that, I would be like, okay, well that's his thing. He knows which which way that means. But I don't fucking dude. Just say left or right, derecha or izquierda. Even work, dude. Just say it regular. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Threw a little bit of Spanish in there. Look at me go. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, honestly, I kind of killed it on that one. I'm, I'm making a lot of good points. So shout outs to me when I'm driving because I'm fucking. That was pretty funny. Uh, next, this one's called BK, and that is an old inside joke with me and my friends, but it, I think this means Burger King. Burger King. And then do, like, the, the Tony the Tiger arm, you know? It's sustenance. 
<laughs> Subway. For when you want to feel like you're eating healthy, but you just want a fucking meatball sub. <laughs> yeah, that was not very good. <laughs> I love the doubt. <laughs> the uh, doubt in my... <laughs> eh, that one not good. <laughs> what else we got around here? I think I'm just driving around looking at restaurants and being like, what's their real slogan? Quick trip. For when you want gas and also gas. No, that's not very good at all. Yeah, I agree. Shade um, in the past that one wasn't very good. Yeah, just the Burger King one I think I'll miss. <laughs> just the Burger King? <laughs> okay. Glad we got the winner out of the way early, right? Okay, this one this one is also called slogans, and this is the longest clip, so if it gets boring, I'll fucking all we don't have to listen to it all the way or whatever, you know. Let me turn it on. So this is like slogans for the podcast, right? Oh, I had the podcast. First one. Here we go. Corvettes. The official car of divorce. <laughs> also, Jergens. You little sinner. <laughs> or something like, uh, good luck convincing the cashier you're not fapping. <laughs> or no, good luck convincing the cashier you're using this to moisturize. Um, <laughs> Fuck, that's what else we got? Fucking uh, Trojan Magnums. No, I don't really have one. <laughs> um, Fuck, dude. Redbox. Please still use DVDs. Nailed it. Eh, um. Valero, like 7-Eleven with 40% more homeless people. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. Uh, Cracker Barrel. Embrace your inner Caucasian. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Whites only. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's the best one. That's the best thing. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, okay. Home Depot. Where you can buy everything you need, even people. <laughs> Home Depot. Everything you need for the job, even people. Um. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Taco Bell. Who needs food when you can have Taco Bell? That one's not really that good. Um, no. Six Flags. Let's stand in line. It do be like that. Um, Kia. It's technically a car. That's back to the Tony the Tiger arm thing. <laughs> Um, what else? I think that's it. I don't know. I just want to hear the Cracker Bro one again. <laughs> Valero. Like 7-Eleven. Um, uh, Cracker Barrel. Embrace your inner Caucasian. Not this one. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Whites only. <laughs> Oh, goddamn. That's so fucking... That's not even, like, an appropriate thing to say right now, but that's fucking funny, dude. That's from, like, a year ago. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys next week. I'll probably have another guest. Uh, fuck. Bye forever. <laughs>